So to start off, what is this product and what is this thing that people seem to be raving about? So the Apple is a the Apple Watch is a smartwatch and it's made by the comp company Apple and it connects to your iPhone to deliver notifications, make calls, send text messages, run applications. For example, you can track your fitness activity and heart rate to see how you're doing if you're doing a workout or maybe if you're just out for a walk. It also has a really, really good fall detection service. And this is something that is great for seniors and taking care of your safety and health. And it also helps you to set fitness goals. So you can use the activity app to do things such as setting a goal to do 10,000 steps per day, a certain number of minutes standing up, or a certain number of um, active minutes or minutes where you're doing high intensity exercise. So these screenshots show a few of the features of Apple Watches, including answering an incoming call, looking at your heart rate, and tracking workouts. And something that is super great about Apple Watches is that you can track almost any type of workout that you can imagine, whether it's swimming, dancing, horseback riding, walking, running, indoor running, cycling, there's so much out there. Now, how does it actually work? In order to use an Apple Watch, you must have an iPhone to connect the Apple Watch to in order for it to work. You can think of it as the Apple Watch kind of being an additional part of your phone. It kind of mirrors what applications and information you have on your smartphone. Also, make sure that your iOS is up to date. So your iPhone does need to be updated periodically through the settings application. So ensure that you have the best software version available. And the Apple Watch versions are compatible with different iPhones. For example, the Apple Watch from Series 1 as well as Series 2 are compatible with any iPhone, iPhone 5 or later on. So if you have an iPhone X, an iPhone 11, etc. And you must have at least an iPhone 6S, which is another level higher than the 5, to have an Apple Watch Series of 3. So you may have to get an older series in order for it to match with your phone or purchase a new phone if you're interested in upgrading it. Now there are some pros and cons of Apple Watches as there are with really any product. So something great about it is that it offers you a fitness tracker, fall detection. It has a sleek design, so it's very aesthetically pleasing and people like the way it looks. You can receive calls. It is water resistant, and it even has music and other apps as well. The cons, of course, firstly, is the price. It is very expensive. It has a low battery life, so you will have to charge it every night, meaning you'd have to take it off overnight or during the day at some point. It's only compatible with iPhones, so if you have an Android, you sadly will not be able to buy this product and use it. It can be highly distractive depending on your habits with technology and how you manage that. And the screen is also small. So if you have any vision impairments or you have a hard time seeing small things, it is not necessarily going to be easy to navigate. So now we're gonna go a bit more in depth on a few of the main features that attract people to buy the Apple Watch. Firstly, the fitness tracker. As mentioned, it can track your heart rate, the amount of calories you've burned and steps taken. It also has an electrocardiogram or ECG function that helps to track your heart's rhythm and electrical activities. Something important about this is that this data can be helpful, though you shouldn't be basing any medical decisions off of it. It's more of an assistant, so you shouldn't be using it to replace any professional physician advice. And also it's not necessarily completely accurate. You may have taken more or less steps, sometimes it can't track exactly what you're doing. So just make sure you're not being heavily reliant on this um, watch. It can also track the distance that you've covered as it has a built-in GPS, as well as elevation changes and even time elapsed. 
In the workout application, 12 different workouts are shown. As I mentioned, they have a wide range of possible workouts that you may be doing, and you can choose one to start. So for example, the reason that this is important to make this differentiation between different workouts is that say if you're swimming, it can track which stroke you're doing. And you're not doing strokes if you're just outside for a walk. So these workouts are gonna be very different, um, but it helps to get and attain the best possible and most accurate data if it knows exactly what activity you're doing. Also, it has an automatic workout tracker that tracks your physical status and detects and sends notifications if you are starting to do a workout. So if it notices that your heart rate's going up or you're doing more intensive activity, it'll say, hey, do you wanna track this as a workout? So it can keep you on track if you ever forget to track a workout. Um, so it's just a great way to stay healthy and fit and make sure you're taking care of yourself. Now it also has fall detection. So it has a fall detector built in that senses whether or not you have fallen at any time of the day, whether it's during the day, at night, as long as it's on your body, on your wrist, it'll be able to detect significant falls. It is highly accurate and sensitive because of the accelerometers and gyroscopes embedded in the watch. So it detects hard hits and immediately asks whether you are okay or not. If you are not responsive within 60 seconds, the Apple Watch can send an emergency call on its own. For example, if you've fallen and you are no longer conscious or you're unable to communicate or get help, it will get help for you. And if you are okay, which is great, and I hope you are, then you can just cancel the call by responding, I fell, but I'm okay, or even I did not fall because if you maybe bump into something really hard or some sort of impact occurs, it may mistake that for a fall. So just make sure you respond to that prompt. Now you can also answer calls that you may have incoming to your phone and you can also send calls on it as well. The calls received on your iPhone will be redirected directly to your watch so that you can answer it on the watch itself. So instead of searching through your bag or trying to find where you put your phone, you can just answer it on your watch. You just want to click on the green call button. As you can see in this screenshot, John is calling. Um, you can click don't answer, you can hang up, or you can click the accept call button. And then there's also the choice to just answer on your iPhone. If you know you're going to have a long conversation, it would be easier for you to be on your actual phone, whatever that may be. You can choose any of these options. And similar to iPhones, you can actually also send a message. They can be pre written, like the can I call you later? Or I'm busy right now, I'll call you when I get there. Or you can also write your own message to the person. Now you can also listen to music on the Apple Watch. You can do this while working out or if you're doing any activity. I know many of us enjoy listening to music, so it's a great feature of the watch. You can stream your favorite songs, artists, and playlists from your Apple Music library. And you can also connect it to Bluetooth headphones or speakers as well. So if you want to listen with headphones or if you want more people to be able to hear it, then you can also connect it to other devices. And this screenshot just shows someone going into their Apple Music library on their Apple Watch. They can search through playlists, artists, albums, songs, and then they found a song that they're listening to and they can just listen to it. They can fast forward to the next song, change the volume, etc. Now you may be wondering where can you actually purchase the Apple Watch? So this slide has a few different logos. Firstly, the Apple Store, of course, because it is an Apple product. You can go to the source. Walmart has many Apple Watches, Best Buy, and Target as well if you're in the United States. Now there are different models of the Apple Watch as there are with iPhones, and you may be very overwhelmed of which one to choose. So this presentation is going to inform you that to date, there are three main models that you can buy in the Apple store, and they have different sizes and colors that come along with the models. So there's the Apple Watch Series 8, which starts at $399 and increases from there. There's the Apple Watch SE starting at $250 and the Apple Watch Ultra, which starts at $800 and above. 
Now we're going to compare the models just so that you can get a better understanding of what's available to you. So for the Apple Watch Series 8, the case size is 45 millimeters or 41 millimeters. It is water resistant, swim proof, and is certified dust resistant as well. The Apple Watch SE, which is a cheaper alternative, is 44 millimeters or 40 millimeters in size. It is water resistant and swim proof. And then the Apple Watch Series Ultra, as you can see on the screen, has many more features because it is the more expensive and detailed version. So it has a 49 millimeter case size, it's water resistant, it's swim proof, and even proofed for recreational diving to 40 meters, which is cool if you're interested in diving deep. It has EN13319 certification. It has depth gouge with water temperature sensors. It's also dust resistant, and it has customizable action buttons as well. Now there's also something called the Apple Watch Studio. And this feature allows you to customize your Apple Watch on the Apple Store's website by choosing the collection, the size of the Apple Watch screen, the case, and the strap color as well. So if you're interested in buying an Apple Watch, this will walk you through that process. You can click on the link on the slide once you receive a copy of the presentation, or you can um, access the link. We can send it in the chat for you as well, but it just allows you to design the watch exactly how you want it to be. So there are different cases and cases are available in the materials, aluminum, stainless steel, and titanium. And from there, there are lots of different colors that you can choose. So the case is just this actual, the watch, the back of the watch face. So you're gonna see the, the glass screen, but then it's also encased by a metal material. Now there are also straps, and this is kind of more of the aesthetic for, um, portion of the watch and what you personally um, want to wear. And maybe you want it to match with your clothes or you have a certain favorite color. So this is where you're going to be able to choose the shape, color, and texture. And depending on which um, strap you get, there's going to be different prices. So there's the typical sport band, which tends to be the cheapest one. There's the braided solo loop, which looks more like this more fancy, there's just the solo loop, leather and stainless steel as well. So something that's super great about these different straps is that you can get different looks from them. So if you wanna look like more of a sporty watch, you can have the sports band. If you want it to look more professional and you're wearing it with business attire, you can get a leather one and you can switch them out very easily. You just hold down a button and you can slide them on and off. So it's great because it can just totally match with whatever vibe you're going for for that day. Now there are also some YouTube Apple Watch guides and you can go to the playlist. So there's a massive compilation of how to customize things, how to use it, how to make the most out of it. So I would definitely recommend going over to that playlist. And there are 33 videos included and Apple support is always updating the playlist with more information as it becomes available of new developments of Apple Watches, new models and new tips that they have. So keep an eye out for that. You can always watch those videos and they're not too long. Some of them are under a minute or three minutes. So it's not like you have to sit there for like 20 minutes and watch it. It's really, you can maybe watch one a day if you wanna learn how to optimize your usage of your Apple Watch. Sorry. And if you do need any help, you can always go to Apple support. They are very helpful. And I've heard from many people that they offer great support. So you can search in Apple support for specific questions, whether it's about your iPhone, Mac, iPad. For this specific presentation, it is Apple Watch, music, TV, et cetera. So they have great support available to you. And most of the time they're very patient and want to help you. So it's really great customer service. But there are, of course, always smartwatch alternatives, um, whether it's because you want a cheaper model, you want different features included, definitely just do your research and see what options are out there for you and what fits you best. So there's the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, which is an Android, so it's compatible with Android phones. The TicWatch Pro 3, which is compatible with Androids and iOS devices, so Apple devices are included in that. And then the Fitbit Versa 3, 
which also is great because it's compatible with Androids and iPhones. And we have done a past webinar on smartwatches in general, so not just Apple Watches. So if you want to take a look at that, we would also love for you to find that resource helpful as well.